All right, so mean arterial pressure, also abbreviated as MAP, so MAP. This is basically just a calculation of the average blood pressure through one cardiac cycle of the heart. So systole, diastole, one heartbeat through the heart. This is the calculation of that average pressure. Or yeah, uh, so blood pressure also might be called arterial pressure, as you might hear sometimes. So mean arterial pressure. The normal range is going to be about, so let's see here, normal range. You might hear this number vary a little bit, but it's generally considered to be between 70 and 100 millimeters of mercury. So this is the mean arterial pressure that's considered a normal range. Um, anything below 60 is critically dangerous for the organs due to not having enough oxygen from the blood flow. So basically 60 is the lowest that uh, the body can handle before having some serious problems to the various organs. Okay, and so how do we calculate this mean arterial pressure? Well, all you need is the blood pressure. So if you get the blood pressure, you can calculate mean arterial pressure. So basically the formula is going to be as this. So systolic blood pressure plus 2 times the diastolic blood pressure divided by 3. So all you got to take is your systolic number plus 2 times your diastolic number divided by 3 and that'll give you your mean arterial pressure. Another equation you might uh, sometimes find but it's the exact same thing just another way of writing it is the mean arterial pressure is equal to the diastolic blood pressure plus the pulse pressure or another way to write that is systolic blood pressure minus diastolic blood pressure is your pulse pressure and all that divided by 3. So these are two different ways to write the same equation. You're going to get the same mean arterial pressure when given a blood pressure value. So let's go ahead and test an example of this um, just so we can make sure we've got it clear in our head. So let's say we have a systolic uh, 130 divided by uh, 84. So this is our blood pressure. So I'll just go ahead and use this formula right here. So systolic blood pressure 130 plus 2 of our diastolic. So we can just write plus 84 plus 84 or 84 times uh, 2. Same thing. So 130 plus 84 plus 84, all that divided by 3. This is going to give us a mean arterial pressure of, uh, let's see, mean arterial pressure of 99.333, uh, repeating. So I'll just go ahead and round that to 99. And then our units, millimeters of mercury, because we have pressure. So there is our mean arterial pressure, 99 millimeters of mercury, for this blood pressure of 130 over 84. And that's how you get mean arterial pressure.